Hi there, I'm going to show you how Node Canvas version 3 works. In Unity, we're going to create a empty game object and we want to destroy the head, so we call this destroy head and we are going to destroy this particular head. In the game object components, we are going to add an FSM owner. FSM stands for finite state machine and we are going to create a new one and we are creating a bound one, which means that graph is saved in the scene on that game object. We'll later change that to an asset and I'll show you what the difference is. So in this graph, we'll right click and add an action state, which will automatically become the starting state, the entry point in the state machine. And we'll add another state, which we'll use to delete the game object in here. So we'll assign an action task uh, looking for destroy uh, here and we have destroy game object that usually takes a reference we don't want to use ourselves safety head let's drag this down here and now we're going to destroy the safety head the only thing missing is the connection between the start state which we can make by dragging from the arrow down to this state and we have made this connection, which immediately will go to destroy safety head because there is no condition in here. So we'll click on that and add a condition task, checking for input. Check button input. It uses the button name fire one, which is preset up by Unity, typically left mouse button or gamepad A button. And we can run this right now. And you can see the active state is the start state. It's highlighted in green. The transition is currently being checked. That's highlighted by animated red bubbles. And the condition is continuously being checked, which means uh, fire down is checked. And if I click the head is gone, you can also see that the destroy game object um, has lost its reference because the head no longer exists. There's one tricky aspect to Node Canvas that you should know. When you save the graph as an asset file you can at any time change uh, graph types to asset and bound and vice versa um, let's save this as destroy head fsm and you might wonder why would i do this when it's making things more complicated well for one uh, saving graphs in the scene will be a nightmare when you work in a team and every time you change a graph the whole scene changes <laughs> The other thing is, if you want to run this graph on multiple instances, you have to have it as an asset. Otherwise, you'd have to create multiple versions of that graph, which is kind of... Now that we have the state machine saved as an asset, we still have the bound graph in here. So we have to delete this. And now we can drag the asset state machine onto the FSM reference. And now we are going to use the asset version of the graph. You can see that the reference here still exists, but uh, Node Canvas is telling us assets cannot have scene object references. And that's because when you unload the scene by loading a different scene and you come back, you see that the destroy game object has a reference of null because the scene was unloaded and thus the reference is lost and cannot be restored. So we need to find another way to reference this head and this is done using a global blackboard. I tend to prefer to create a new game object that just carries the global blackboard instance. And we're going to add the global blackboard component in here. That's basically just a list of variables. And we're going to add a variable of type uh, game object. And we'll call this stupid hat. And we're going to drag the, where's the head workbench? We're going to drag the head onto that reference. Now we have a variable called stupid head that references the safety head. And all we need to do is in our asset state machine, change that from reference to a variable. Um, right now it has a missing transform. And by clicking this empty circle here, we're going to change this to taking a variable and we can select from the global blackboard the stupid head and now we're going to indirectly reference the head from outside the scene and that's all there is to it when we run this okay now we're running the scene with the state machine saved as an asset file it works just as before 
except that we are referencing the head via a global blackboard variable. And if I click now in the scene, the state machine executes its destroy action, the head is gone, and the action actually tells me that there's a missing agent reference because we've destroyed the head, obviously. You can also see that the global blackboard is automatically put in the don't destroy and load list. That means if you change scenes in the game, the global blackboard will stay. So that's basically how you create global variables using Node Canvas. I hope you liked this video. If you want to know anything specific about Node Canvas, please leave me a comment. And in any case, if you liked the video, click subscribe and like. I appreciate it. See you next time.